Today I'm going to show you how to create a static effect. So like if whenever you want your screen to die, just like in a TV. So first you want to start by opening Blender, obviously. So this is just your default screen. So you first thing you want to do, you want to move the camera so that it's facing directly forward. And to do that you just hit R to rotate it. Then there, if you hit zero, that's the camera view. You can see that this is just what the camera is seeing. So then you want to go up to the add menu, add mesh plane. Then you hit three to hit side view. And then I'm going to hit five, so that takes it you out of the 3D view and it's just flat. So here we are. And then you want to hit G and grab the plane and then hit R90 to rotate this plane 90 degrees. Then G, zero, and then grab it till it's over the screen's field, the camera's field of view. Then hit S and scale it till it's significantly bigger than the camera. And then we want to go over to the materials menu right here and add a new material. We can just name that material static. And then we want to make it shadeless. Then we'll go over to the texture and we'll add a new texture. We'll make the texture clouds. And then we'll make the noise, then we'll make, instead of the blender original, we'll do cell noise. Then you want to crank the size down to about, I found 0 0.03 works well. And then you want to do RGB to intensity. Instead of making it pink, you want to crank this all the way down. You want to pull this all the way to the middle and make it black or pretty close to black. Now, if you render an image, you'll see there's some pretty good static. You can goof around, crank the size down, and that that's a little bit too. So you can go do that. Just goof around. That looks pretty good. So then, there, now you have one picture static. To make the static look like it's moving, you want to go down right here, and there's that red circle. You want to click on it, so that records your movements. So this is frame one. You just want to hit G and grab your plane a little bit. Then hit the right arrow, and that will jump you forward once one frame, and then hit G and grab it again, and then hit G and grab it again, and just grab it and keep doing that eh, about 20 times, and just grab it random places. You can do it maybe 10, I'll do it 10. So then you want to go over to the graph editor, and then see here's our curve, so hit Shift D and then GX. Then you want to grab it until you see there's just the white, all of these yellow things right here are in equal space apart. So now if we go over to the 3D view and hit Alt A to play, our cube just jumps all over the place. And then we hit Alt A again and it just jumps all over. So we want that is not very much static. So if you hit A, that deselects everything. And then if you hit A again, that selects everything. So hit Shift D again, GX, and then grab it. And then there we have some more. And then we go back to 3D view. And there our thing jumps around. Then if you want, you can make it a little bit more random. You can just grab it around so then your static doesn't look too uniform. And then that, that is what you have. And then you just render it. I found MPEG works well. And then just set where you want to do it. Blender automatically does it to temp, but I always upload it to movies. So you accept. And then you click animation here. And that renders. There we just have it rendering and rendering.
So that is basically all there is to static. So now, so once you're done, you just once you're done with your animation, you can just load the static up into uh, your favorite editing software, and you're good to go.